Soldier Boy has finally met his match with Reggie and Nintendo. Persona 5 R officially announced, and a transgender has a fucking freak out inside a GameStop. Let's get into it. What's going on everyone? Alex Prime here and today we have three amazing topics to talk about. You already heard it in the beginning part, but we're going to go over each one individually. First up, let's start with the quick one. Persona 5 R has been announced. More like tease, there was a little trailer. The full announcement is going to be in March and it's called Persona 5 R. And uh, if you're wondering if it was announced for the Switch, you were hoping you were praying. Switch, please! Unfortunately, no. It's only been shown for the PlayStation 4 so far. This doesn't mean much, because we had Crash Team Racing was announced for PlayStation 4, then later we found out it's coming to Switch. There's several cases like this, so they just keep holding out hope. Don't worry. You're probably gonna get Persona 5R on the Switch. I hope it comes to the Switch. I'm not gonna play it there, but I want you guys who haven't experienced the greatness of Persona 5 on the Switch because it's a fantastic game and everyone should get to play it. So I hope it comes to Switch. I think it's coming to Switch. Like Sakurai's out there. He's out there at corporate office. He's hugging Morgana. He's talking about how great Persona 5 is and how he appreciates the team. They're not doing this for no reason. We know Joker's in Smash, baby. Joker's in Smash. That was a legendary day. Then it's being fully announced in March. That's supposed to be when some of these Smash characters launch apparently so that would be a good tie-in it would be like hey jokers and smash we're also getting persona 5r on the switch boom that would be amazing so keep holding out hope guys don't worry don't get mad don't freak out don't attack the devs or none of this shit just 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 understand it's probably coming to the switch you might just have to wait a little longer we probably have to see it at a nintendo direct you know how nintendo rolls they like to show this stuff themselves so exciting stuff. Just wait till March. We'll see how it goes. And uh, we got Soldier Boy. <laughs> it's been a month of this, <laughs> but Soldier Boy, uh, you know the you know the story. He's he's brought a bunch of consoles out. Four consoles came out of nowhere. He was like a tornado of greatness, a tornado of hilarity. Four consoles. All they are is rebranded Chinese knockoff consoles that he's buying, reselling for a profit. He's calling himself like a, a gaming maverick and all this crazy nonsense. He's going to start an esports team. And uh, he was talking some crazy shit. Like Nintendo's not going to do nothing about it. Uh, and like they, they got it. all his stuff's legitimate. And it's been a lot of fun. Now, unfortunately, it has come to an end. This, this fun, this greatness, this hilarity is over. Because it looks like, it's not confirmed yet, but it does look like Nintendo has got this guy. <laughs> I got him, because <laughs> um, Soldier Boy has taken down all his consoles from his website, and um, he put up a tweet. It was really vague. It was like I had to boss up. Let me find the tweeter. Oh, here it is. I had to boss up. I didn't have a choice. Then the little emoji. So uh, basically, he can't sell those consoles anymore. Nintendo most likely came after him because we know Nintendo's been on a tear, taking down these emulation stuff, and there was no way in hell. They were gonna let Soldier Boy get away with this, so it is what it is. It's been a lot of fun while it lasts. Thank you, Soldier Boy, for making the end of 2018 hilarious. We've had a lot of fun talking about the Soldier Boy and the Soldier consoles and all his other knockoff nonsense that he's selling. It's gonna be real fun. Now, does that mean he can't come back and sell these things again? He could. But maybe he'll just take the Nintendo games out. We don't know. Because all these other companies don't seem to care about emulation. It's just mainly Nintendo. So maybe we'll get the Soldier Boy consoles back in 2019. Just missing the Nintendo games. And uh, maybe they'll cost even more money. Who knows. But uh, yeah, Nintendo and Reggie, they got you. So uh, enjoy that money you made. Because it's probably going to go to Nintendo real quick. <laughs> and uh, last but not least. This was a crazy video. So a transgender person went to GameStop and had a freaking mental breakdown because the employee called, um, said, sir, instead of ma'am. I'll play the video here. Let me just switch the screen so you all can see. Boom, the magic of technology. All right, so we'll play the video here. Uh, yeah. You're going to give me my fucking money back. Excuse me, sir, there's a young man in here. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. I can call the police. 
he likes you to, you need to settle down. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. It was a general. Right beforehand, you fucking said sir. Sir? Okay. Motherfucker, take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a fucking sir. I apologize. Motherfucker. I apologize. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, that's a very unreasonable way to handle a situation. The kid called me sir, but it gets worse. Watch this. I need your corporate number because I'm going to talk, call them and talk about how I was misgendered several times in this store. I need your corporate number now. Get it for me now. Give me your corporate number. Well, I'm going to ask you for the fifth time to stop calling me a man because quite clearly I am not. And I apologize. I'm sorry for that, ma'am. I will get you that number. Is that okay? Yes, get it for me now. I'm asking you to stop Get it for me now. I'm not cussing. I'm not cussing. Give me the damn numbers now. Please. Ooh! Yeah, my fault. Yes. Oh, my fault. Yes. I will get you that number right now. Okay. Okay. No, you're just going to keep bumping your gums. There. You're just going to keep bumping your gums and disrespecting trans people in this store, which I plan on telling the entire LGBTQ community. You're going to lose money over this. Holy. <laughs> God damn. That was an angry bitch. Okay, so the GameStop employee uh, happened to call this person a sir. They didn't take too kindly to that. They wanted to be called a ma'am. And uh, proceeded to freak out, absolutely go batshit crazy in the store. And you could see that guy, um, the the employee, man, he was scared shitless. He was probably thinking to himself, I'm going to get my ass beat by a 7 foot transgender. I'm going to be that guy. So that's uh, probably not a fun day for him. He's probably hoping, he's, he's probably thinking to himself, damn, I should have called in sick today. But instead, he had this situation. Uh, this person, uh, we don't know the, this person's name or anything like that, not like it matters, but this person handled this situation very poorly. There was no reason to freak out and scream and basically ra roid rage in a store, kick over shit and just like be a complete asshole. Uh, completely terrible way to handle this situation. Yes, the GameStop employee was in the wrong for saying sir instead of ma'am. Because uh, this is a transgender person who was a man and now is a woman. So she wants to be called a uh, lady and that's, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. And the employee made a mistake. But the way that this person reacted, completely unacceptable. Disgusting behavior, to be honest. Uh, it's it's no way to handle a situation, especially you're a grown person. Like you're an adult. There's no reason to be acting like this. That's how a child would act. Uh, truly disgusting. Now maybe this person had a bad day. Uh, who knows? But uh, still, no reason to take it out on this GameStop employee. You know they have enough to deal with in the holiday time working at GameStop. You gotta deal with this shit all the time. You gotta deal with people tearing up your store because you didn't give them a refund for Fallout 76. Some crazy nonsense like that. But uh. <laughs> That was wild. Just, just crazy. How the how some people handle situations like that. That's just absolutely nuts. And then threatens to fight the guy outside by. Oh, what do you say? I'm gonna. What did she say? I'm gonna show you a sir outside. Bring it outside. Like, what are you, are you threatening this tiny little GameStop dude? This little nerd. Like, come on. Ridiculous. Uh, but that's it, guys. <laughs> three, three articles today. Three, three things to talk about. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, Soldier Boy is finally done. The, the Soldier Watch is over. We don't have to hear about Soldier Boy anymore. Hopefully, hopefully, we can stop talking about and hearing about Soldier Boy. Oh my God. And uh, what, what else? Persona 5 R possibly coming to Switch. We don't know yet. It's coming to PlayStation for sure. Xbox. Uh, probably not and transgender going crazy in a GameStop let me know what you thought was the, the best article the funniest article and uh, this is Alex Prime I hope you had a great time bye oh yeah I forgot to wish you guys happy new year I hope you guys have some excellent new year's parties planned for tonight I'm gonna be going over to my bro's house we're gonna play Smash Brothers it's gonna be wild I'm gonna try and get that eight player smash going play some poker, have some drinks. It's going to be a fun night. So yeah, guys, happy 2019. Hopefully we have some cool things to talk about and I'll see you later. Bye.